Good morning and welcome to Word of the Week. I'm Duncan McClee, the staff chaplain at U-Turn, and today I'm in conversation with Valerie. Your title, your position at U-Turn is? I am Chief Communications Officer at U-Turn Homeless Ministries with lots of exciting uh, opportunities to showcase what is happening behind the scenes at U-Turn. We get to highlight achievements of the champs, basically give an account of all of the wonderful things that's happening in the ministry. And I think um, being at this organization really redefines you as a person. So I've been really privileged to be part of that. So you speaking to radio stations, newspapers, journalists? Yes, so we speak to the media. We use a variety of channels to be able to market and build a brand profile for U-Turn. We use social media, we use print media, there's radio stations, televisions, and there's networking opportunities through engagements with people and corporates. So Valerie, two prayer requests. What can people pray for for you? Yeah, I think the first for anyone in this kind of role, for the Lord to be gracious with creativity so that we can find new ways to be able to tell the stories that need to be told and the boldness to be able to speak the words that need to be spoken in this season and the wisdom to be able to do it in a way that is well received. We hear a lot of talk about narratives in this season. How do we say the things in a way that is acceptable to the outside world? Because we live in a world right now where people are offended easily. My prayer is that we are creative, and wise in the way we say the things we need to say, especially from the perspective of U-Turn. Great, well, I think those are two um, really important things for us all to pray for, creativity, boldness, and wisdom. Well, it's three actually, but mm. there we go. Valerie, you've got a, a, a word to share with us that's spoken to you. What is that? So it's found in Isaiah 40 verse 31, and I'll read it. It says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So this is a word that has been a word in season for me throughout my journey. And I think it resonates because when you think about going through a difficult season or a challenging season, you have to have the hope in the Lord more than anything because when you look around and the circumstances are challenging and uh, things seem impossible, you have to place your hope somewhere. I remember a time when um, yeah, I was faced with really bad news and in that instant uh, I didn't know who to call. Where do I share this? Who, who can comfort me? Um, and that and those words uh, hope in the Lord um, in in those few minutes I just took a step back and remembered who my God is and the hope in the Lord strengthened me to be able to face that situation and I think over the seasons of life I think it's been such an encouragement that when you look at what it says it says they will soar on wings like eagles and those are really strong wings um, and run and not grow weary. I mean, I can't imagine someone who's just completed uh, the marathon, you know, uh, run and not grow weary. Of course, they weary after the race. Uh, but when you hope in the Lord, this is the trust you have in the supernatural, unmerited favor and goodness of the Lord that we experience. And so that's the scripture uh, that I use in my life. And so I thought I'd share it today. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Read it once more, then I'm going to pray. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. That's Isaiah 40 verse 31. Gracious and loving God, thank you for your word that speaks to us freshly today and we do just pray that whatever we're facing right now that you would enable us to step back to take a broader perspective to rise up on wings like eagles and and see things from your view to take courage 
to regain our strength as we turn our eyes to you, our Lord, our Saviour, our friend who guides, strengthens and walks each day with us. We ask this for your sake, Jesus. Amen.